Good day everyone, uh, Loki here once again with another video and today I want to talk about the video that I actually made yesterday. So as you might have seen, I made a video yesterday called Sniping is not broken, or well better fit for Sniping is not broken, which is a reaction video to a guy who basically posted a video showing that Battlefield 4 sniping was broken and claiming that sniping was dead, which, as shown in my video, is not the case at all. However, a guy commented on my video, his name is Somification, if that's not how you pronounce your name, I'm really sorry, but that's just how I'm going to pronounce your name, and he basically suggested that the reason why um, Locklear, that's the name of the guy who made the video, had such a problem hitting the target, is because he was, in, was using the straight pull attachment. So let's see that and let's talk about it a little bit more and now we go into the live mode. Boop. So as you can see we are in game now and let's check what I did yesterday. So yesterday I didn't have a ball pop on it or um, straight pull on it. So let's spawn with that and then I will quickly show that there's not really a problem with quick scoping. So as you can see the targets are there. I zoom in and I shoot, I zoom in and I shoot, zoom in and I shoot and there's no problem. I can just kill my targets and I just missed my target because, well, I didn't aim directly at my target. And as you can see, there is not that big of a problem with quick scoping or quickly zooming in after your shots and killing an enemy. Oh, well, killing a target that is standing right here on the beach. So, after that comment, I unlocked a little bit more of my sniper rifle. And I decided to actually give it a try. Because, well, it was probably the straight pull attachment. Um, Locklear used the straight pull attachment. And I would see... Nah, I could see that being the problem. So as you can see now, I have the straight pull attachment, I can stay zoomed in while actually shooting. That is actually the great thing about the straight pull attachment. The whole idea of the straight pull attachment is that you can stay zoomed in while shooting. That's the reason why you would use the straight pull attachment. Because you would be able to stay zoomed in. There would be no reason to zoom out or to quick scope or whatever, because you can stay zoomed in and shoot at your targets. But let's say you wanted to quick scope with your straight pull attachment, which I wouldn't understand why, but as you can see, then hitting your targets is not going to be happening. The reason why this is probably is because, as you can see, now of course now I hit them a couple of times after in a row, as you can see at times the bullet just goes way out. The reason why this is probably is because your weapon is still recovering. Also a problem with quick scoping with this weapon is that at times you are still loading in your next round so you won't be able to shoot at all. But if you zoom in right after a shot it's still recovering but it isn't on your screen so that's why it's not hitting. To say that sniping is dead because of this it's not true at all. It's just that this kind of attachment is not meant for your style of play. Quick scoping or whatever is very aggressive, whereas this style of sniping is not so much. The whole thing about it is that you can sit back and, oh, that's a miss. That you can sit back and that you can just shoot at your targets like this, and there's no problem with that, as you can see. And he just, uh, oh well. But as you can see, there's no problem with that, so let's sw quickly switch back to my other sniper, or well, to the other attachment. Let's say I put a bipod on it, and I have my canted iron sights on it. Whoop. As you can see, there's no problem with just hitting your target or hitting in the middle. Wherever you zoom in, you kill the target. So sniping is still very much alive, in my opinion. If I'm standing up or if I'm sitting, it doesn't really matter. It's just wherever I look at, I shoot, and if I'm don't look at the enemy, I obviously miss. So that's probably going to be the problem. But the whole problem with the, the the other attachment is the fact that you automatically shoot. I can even show it while being zoomed in. So let's say I'll go back to the straight pull attachment. Whoop. Let's say I, I shoot automatically with my straight pull attachment while zoomed in. I won't be shooting at the exact same spot every time, as you can see. If I don't wait for it to stop recovering or stop doing whatever it does, it doesn't go wherever I just pointed at before. 
Same goes with the pistol. If I start shooting with the pistol, it won't be hitting in the same spot every time. If I could find a wall that doesn't break if I shoot at it, that would be wonderful. But as you can see, the the weapon goes up because I keep shooting. The same thing happens with the sniper, if I'm zoomed in or not. So, that's the whole problem. So, to say sniping is dead, that's not true at all. I don't think that's true. Well, it's not true, as you can see. That that was just the most pro shots I did just right there. As you can see, if you try quickscoping at times with this scope, it's it's just not working. Or with this straight pull. Whatever the attachment is called. <laughs> but if you just do not use that one attachment, you should be fine. And that's... You don't want to use the straight pull attachment. Because it's not meant for your style of play. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you didn't like this video, feel free to dislike. If you didn't like this video, feel free to negatively comment on my video, because quite a couple of people actually didn't really like my video. I'm not sure if they didn't like Locklear, or well, they were fans of Locklear and didn't like me disproving what he did, or if they were just not looking at the same screen as I was, or that I was some hoax or something, part of a conspiracy or something, I don't know. Anyway guys, if you want to see more videos of myself, be sure to subscribe, be sure to like. I will start creating weapon reviews when the netcode is working, because that's a big problem right now, that netcode isn't quite up to par but until then i will make little small videos just like this one or the one i made yesterday exploring the world of battlefield and how all the weapons work and stuff like that anyway guys see you in the next video see you later